28,399, the number of deaths currently in the United States from the coronavirus. Now, I'm sure you guys are kind of sick of talking about the coronavirus, which I get, and especially with having to stay home longer now with the time being shifted of the stay at home safe. But for me, while working during a pandemic, it has a big part of my life. So today I'm going to talk about how working in a pandemic is dangerous and therefore we should get paid more. So as many of you know, the coronavirus is dangerous. Pharmacies are underprepared and an increase in pay would stimulate the economy. To start off, like I said, as many of you know, the coronavirus is dangerous. It is dangerous because of how highly contagious it is. In July of 2017, Dr. Ilola Bola and colleagues stated that the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus is a respiratory contagious pathogen that is constructed via close contact with infected subjects. Now this was talking about the Middle Eastern version of COVID, or as, or like I should say the coronavirus, whereas right now we have COVID-19, which is a different strand, which is um, more contagious. And b along with that, while at work, I'm at a constant possible exposure. Um, Lorazo Gamillo in New York Times in March 2020 stated that healthcare workers at the greatest risk they can have exposure, encounter diseases and infections daily, and typically work in close proximity to one another and their patients. So like he said, we're within that six feet that is recommended by the CDC, and not only with our coworkers, but with the patients when we're helping them. And especially with the, so healthcare workers being the number one, most likely to be at greatest risk. But um, the second one being cashiers, which is just another way that in the pharmacy we, as we're working as cashiers, that we can be exposed. Um, it's a little scary, like the other day, someone came in saying, I, I think I had it, and asking how long it stays in their body, um, them coming in within those two weeks that they thought they were exposed. We've also had people call because they uh, had a confirmed case and they now need medication um, for unrelated reasons as they haven't really come out with too much of how um, it, like how they're treating it, but um, just being able to still provide them with their needs. Um, because of this, the pharmacies are underprepared. Specifically, pharmacies are understaffed. Um, Rhonda Stewart, who has a PhD in healthcare, stated in 2008 that 67% of healthcare workers stated they would be available to work during a pandemic. Well, that's kind of a higher number, 67%. Um, it is lower when you consider that people already can't work. Like, we're already low with numbers as college kids went back home. And aren't on campus or around their jobs anymore and so now we've already been cut and then 60 percent of the people that can work are now able to work so two-thirds this was seen last weekend at rose street at walgreens pharmacy when only one technician and one pharmacist could work the entire weekend so while they may not have had as many people because of easter weekend it seems like a lot more because they're having to overwork because people are just can't work whether it's getting sick or they have families to take care of we're getting limited people now specifically walgreens just hasn't had enough supplies in an interview that i conducted with my coworker and another pharmacy technician ken cassidy hansen in april of 2020 she stated we don't have anything now joking around she stated that but then specifically went on to say how we don't have enough thermom like we don't have any thermometers in stock or um alcohol or isopropyl to make hand sanitizer or hand sanitizer itself. Now because of this, supplies are getting limited like people are using the alcohol swabs that diabetics use in order to test themselves um, when they have to like prick their finger in order to clean it. But now that's limiting the supplies for the people that actually need it because people are getting greedy with it, as seen it a lot with the toilet paper and that whole issue. Um, but more specifically in the pharmacy, we've had an issue with not having enough gloves for co for our, like the workers and masks. Um, most of us don't wear masks or gloves because we're so limited that the people that need it, like um, there's a woman that's pregnant in our pharmacy, so she kind of has priority or um, 
most of like the college kids haven't been using it so that the parents can use it and stuff like that. We also haven't had any of the plexiglass shields go up in our pharmacy because they don't have enough supplies. So first they're handing it out to um, other pharmacies in New York or California that are in higher need of it, but we haven't been able to get that in either. Not only does it benefit the workers if we had an increase in pay, but overall it would help to stimulate the economy. Um, when people make more, they tend to spend more. This is seen in Jesse Sanchez's um, article in 2008, in October of 2008, um, when he was quoting Northcote Parkinson, who created the Parkinson's Law, that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. Now, this is basically saying when you have time, you're going to find things to complete it. You're not just going to like sit there. I mean, maybe sitting there is filling your time. But in the same sense, when you have money, people are going to go and spend money. So in that way, it's going to boost the economy more when, as like these workers are making more. And in a sense, it is helping keep businesses open. In another personal interview I conducted with my dad, Chad LaFleur, in April 2020, he stated, If people have an increase in salary, it would help stimulate sales, make me feel confident in purchasing goods that are in this uncertain time, and allow spending to help struggling businesses and keep the economy open. Now for him, he works in a business where he does get paid his wage, but also makes commission. And as people aren't really going out as they really shouldn't be, he's not making much commission, but as they are an essential business, they have to stay open. And so by increasing wages, people are gonna go spend that money and then it's gonna go back into those smaller businesses that will help keep them open. Now I hope you didn't get too bored of talking about the coronavirus because I know it's been a lot that's been talking about lately, but the coronavirus is dangerous. Pharmacies are underprepared and an increase in pay would overall stimulate the economy. Working during this time is dangerous, but therefore we should get paid more. So next time you go out of your house, remember the people you're saving by staying at home. Hope you guys are doing well.